song we've ever done, and so that requires the most unique, different setup we've ever done. We are in our rehearsal space, and we are recording drums, and it's gonna be fun. We're trying to create a snare sample for the first verse of this song. Therefore, Chick-fil-A bag with some trash in it. There's also a coffee cup in it. Ooh, hook that Chick-fil-A smack and I EQ'd it, compressed it, uh, pitched it up a little bit, put a little reverb on it. We actually, we got that bass line from the bag too. Ooh. It's day three of recording our new single, and today we are working on recording guitars. Synthesizer for the um, bridge, and it's currently 8:27. It's 8:11. It's kind of distorted, like just a weird distorted tone. So how I got that is I made this patch on my Nord, and basically it would sound like this. But I turned the glide function up, and then it glides. And it glides. So I went like. Just tap between these two notes. And I recorded that and then I added a ton of distortion and it ended up sounding like this. And in the mix it sounds like this. We are recording vocals today. And we're going back to the busy and we're dead. With this song, we're trying out a ton of new sounds that we've never really used before. Each part is very unique, and we have a ton of things sprinkled in, kind of all over the place that you only hear once or twice. Every little tiny piece of the song is going to sound different, but the whole will sound coherent still. So that's what we're trying to do and really experiment with in a way we've never done before. 